Bluehost website builder tutorial. Hey guys, Brian with WP Cupid Blog, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a complete Bluehost website builder tutorial on how to build a website with Bluehost. Whether you're a new bit of technology or a pro, this step-by-step -step Bluehost website builder tutorial video is perfect to follow along with. By following this Bluehost website builder tutorial video, you will have your site started in as little as 10 minutes. At the end of this video, you will have your website successfully started on Bluehost. The first step I'm gonna cover is how to choose and register your own domain name for free with Bluehost along with providing you with a discount on their hosting. Step two is choosing the right hosting plan. Step three is getting your website set up with WordPress. Step four is going over a WordPress tutorial. And step five is going over helpful resources when starting your website with Bluehost. If you don't have time to start your WordPress website right this second, be sure to bookmark this video so you can come back to it later. Be sure to subscribe to our channel as we're always posting new website tutorial videos. I provide a link to Bluehost below in the description to get your free domain name in our exclusive up to 63% off Bluehost hosting discount. Be sure to click the link in the description to take advantage of this Bluehost discount deal. I do want to mention that the link is an affiliate link and I receive a commission which helps support this channel and helps us put out more WordPress tutorial videos. The first thing you want to do is head on over to Bluehost via the link in the description if you already haven't to get your Bluehost discount. You'll see the get started now button on the page. Click the button. This is where you can select your hosting plan. You'll see four different options. You'll see a basic plan plus plan, choice plus plan, and a pro plan. I recommend going with the basic plan and then you can always scale up whenever you'd like. If you have more than one website, then you want to choose either the plus plan or choice plus plan. I'm going to choose the basic plan for this tutorial as this is most common. The pro plan I recommend you scale up to after your site generates revenue and you start receiving lots of traffic. Go ahead and hit the select button on whichever plan you would like to use. We are now brought to a domain page where we can choose a domain name that we want completely free or if you already have a domain name you'd enter it in over on the right. For the new domain, you can select if you want to be a .com, .net, .org, etc. .com is the most popular domain extension, so I'd recommend going with a .com if you can. I'm going to type in a domain here and click the next button. You are now brought to a create your account page. This we will input your information. We have first name, last name, the business name is optional, put your country address information in, put a phone number, and lastly the best email for you as you get email receipt of payment and a copy of your login credentials etc. Below that you will see package information. You'll see account plan, this is where you can select a term for your hosting package. You have 12 months, 24 months, and 36 months. As you can see, you'll save money the longer you purchase your hosting for. I'm going to select the 12 months package domain registration is free, SSL certificate is free, this SSL feature is a free SSL certificate which makes your site secure with the green bar and with the HTTPS. Domain privacy is an add-on that I highly recommend. It will prevent telemarketers and marketers getting a hold of your personal contact information and bugging you with their services. The domain privacy will show Bluehost information for the site and not yours. Site Log Security Find is security for your WordPress website and protects it from hackers. I don't select this as there are really good free alternatives. You'll see Code Guard. Code Guard creates daily backups and allows you to restore your site with a click of a button in case something happens. There are free alternatives that work just the same. SEO Tool Start you can keep unselected. This add-on will submit your site to search engines and provide a report on your site ranking and keyword rankings. Submitting your site to search engines you can do for free. This isn't necessary to have. Office 365 Email Essentials is the email software Microsoft Outlook that is commonly included with Microsoft Office. If you'd like to have your email powered by this Microsoft add-on, feel free to keep this selected. This isn't necessary to have. All these add-ons are completely optional and up to you to get. As you can see, you're saving a lot for this hosting package. Below that, you will input your payment information. I'm not going to fill this out for protection of personal information. Once your information is filled in, you want to select the I have read and agreed to Bluehost privacy policy in terms of service. Now click the submit button. You're now brought to a page where we'll choose a password for your Bluehost account, click the create your password button. Input the password you would like, click the I have read and agreed to Bluehost privacy policy in terms and conditions and click the next button. You will now be directed to a congratulations page. Click the blue login button to log in to Bluehost. Bluehost is also going to at this time email your dashboard login information to the email address you provided. You will now see pick your theme. Bluehost has a bunch of awesome free WordPress themes you can choose from. You can select the theme now if you want to or below the themes you can click 
skip this step. If you choose a theme now, you can always change the theme you pick without any problem at a later date. I'll be going over this in more detail later in the video. Once you choose your free theme or click skip this step, you'll be at the page here stating all done. Click the button that says start building to start building your website on WordPress. Once you click that and log in, you'll be at the WordPress dashboard. This is what the WordPress dashboard looks like. It'll ask you a few questions as you can see. If you don't need help, just click the you don't need help option. Once you do that, you will see this page. You will see blog posts where you can add new blog posts. You will see where you can add new pages to your site. If you want to change the navigation menus, you can do so easily. And if you are going to sell products on your site, you can install WooCommerce to do so. On the far left, you will see tabs. Hover over them and get to learn them. Post is where you can add new posts. Pages is where you can add new pages. The media tab is where your images are show that you upload to your site. Comments is where you can view comments people leave on your site. Plugins is where you can search for and add plugins to your website. Anything you want to be done or added to your website, more than likely there's a plugin that will make it happen. Appearance is where you can change the look of your theme or change your theme to another one or a premium theme. Select themes when you hover over appearance it will showcase free WordPress themes that you can choose from. If you select most popular, it will show you the most popular free WordPress themes. Hover over a theme and click install and then click activate to make the theme your WordPress theme. You should also see add new theme on this page. This is where you can add a new theme if you got it from another site or it is a premium theme. In the top left of your WordPress dashboard, you will see welcome here or your site title towards the top of the page. Click this to view your site. To log into your WordPress dashboard, you can do so via the Bluehost cPanel or by typing in your domain name with a slash wp-admin. Here's an example. It'll bring up this page here. Just input your login credentials to be logged into WordPress. A great resource I've used for several years and recommend for professional WordPress themes that look like an award-winning design agency did your website is ThemeForest. This is their site here. If you go to the navigation menu and hover over WordPress, you can select popular WordPress themes or themes in a specific industry. You you can also type in your industry with WordPress after it to browse premium WordPress themes related to your search. Definitely check this site out. Another great resource that is helpful and used by over 500,000 users is a drag and drop editor called Elementor Page Builder. Elementor Page Builder makes starting and creating your WordPress blog easy. You can make edits by dragging and dropping, search Elementor Page Builder on the plugins page and install and activate it if you'd like to try it out. Elementor has a free and paid version. I provide a link in the description so you can check out and compare the features of the free and paid versions. Another great resource to check out is Fiverr. I provide the link in the description below. You can get almost any task done for just $5. This is what the Bluehost cPanel looks like. You'll see here you can log into WordPress from it. Over on the left hand side you can click the My Sites which will pull up your current WordPress sites along with other awesome things in that menu. And that is my Bluehost website builder tutorial video on how to build a website with Bluehost. If you have any questions, get in touch as I'm here to help you with anything you need. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more WordPress video tutorials. Leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you.